Oh, he's... Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> Hi, it's about 1975 and welcome to Lead Dangerous on the Xbox. And today I've got some fun footage for you. So I brought you a video of me pirating in Maralaja and I hinted at in that video that there'd be a follow-up video because I did a lot of combat that night. And basically, I tried to pirate as long as I could. At this point, I'm still in my pirate ship. I'm in my pirate Mamba, my superfast Mamba with missiles and multi-cannons. Uh, still trying to pirate people. But I'm winged up with some people, an eclectic group of people. Uh, and it's basically turned into open warfare. Um, people came in trying to stop us doing what we wanted to do. And um, basically it got very carnage and it kept getting, uh, we kept getting more and more fights. So I eventually gave up and got in a combat ship. And the last fight is the one I got in my combat ship for. Uh, it was a fun evening. I'm winged up with some of my favorite people to be winged up with. Uh, for various reasons, we got Frodo Swaggings of um, Seventh Legion, who always causes chaos and mayhem and brings some interesting builds to fights. We got Dan of TOC, who's just lethal, and there's a uh, the, yeah, the lawful commander that is Captain Gaslighter, uh, Commander Selfish the One. So uh, we were having fun. There were a lot of people getting killed. Uh, there was these guys that kept coming over in well, a mixture of corvettes and crates and um, we managed to get quite a lot of kills on them so I thought I'd bring you some of that action it was I chipped in with my little bit um, in these earlier fights because I'm using um, well basically I'm using a pirate ship so I've got undersized weapons I've only got two smalls and a large on the multi cannons and two medium missile racks and not a lot of ammo for the missiles I do have to engineer some new max capacity ones but I do have um, a nice emissive multi cannon, as you'll see from this clip. Is there anyone else in here? There's a great phantom. Whoa. Who's this fucking guy? Fuck the barrier there. Oh, I need to stab him by a Corvette. I love him. Wrecking NPCs. There we go. Yeah! Oh, he's dead. Boom. He's fine. We're gonna go, um, low temperature dawn fire. Yeah, so this wing had a mix of ships in it, a mix of people in it, and was causing a lot of damage to people. Uh, it was really good fun. We got into quite a lot of fights. Um, I tried to do my best to stay pirating for as long as possible, but eventually i just had to concede and grab a combat ship because these guys were kept coming back and coming back and it was a mixture of vets and uh crates they kept going back in uh, as you can see here i'm just winging it out a little bit to encourage them to shoot someone else uh you should know, probably focus too much in a ship with a 600 by weave shield um you know and uh yeah i'm just basically assisting with a missive corrosive and uh drag munitions this is um this is actually a heat build i do forget that i did make this a thermal shock heat build um so it kind of works quite it's quite funky for that but it is a pirate ship like i say weak undersized weapons maximizing the speed of the mamba uh, even with a full cargo rack i can still go 630 so it's a pretty nifty ship um and handy for getting in and out of trouble uh, especially out of trouble which is, you know, as a thief, is a handy thing. But, you know, sometimes it's nice to kick back and shoot stuff with the guys. Um, I mean, this is what, f yeah, four different squadrons linked, teaming up. We've got Dark Marauders, Seventh Legion, TOC, and Brown Nugget Mining. Um, yeah, so it's cooperation across many squadrons, having a bit of fun. Uh, just shooting people in ROTV space at one of the most popular systems for traders. Uh, I'm sure Southfish would have preferred to be in his cutter trading. I'd have preferred to stay in a pirate ship pirating. But Frodo and Dan are in their element and um, killing things that they really do like to do that. And um, yeah, there was plenty of opportunity to get kills. And uh, yeah, it was a fun evening's entertainment. I had fun doing the piracy. Then I had fun doing the combat. 
And then as an added bonus, I had fun chatting on Discord with ROTV afterwards who wanted to know what the Dark Marauders had in mind for their space. And it was like, no, it wasn't like that. We were just down there doing a bit of piracy, then it turned into a bit of combat. You know, there's nothing special. We definitely weren't up to anything unsavory or doing any BGS or anything like that. It's just purely a bit of roleplay piracy. Um, and I've got to say, it's going to be a system that I probably will try and pirate on a semi-regular basis. And it'll be added to the list of my general hunting grounds for piracy. Because it is such a good system for um, players uh, when there's no CG. Um, when there's a CG, that's probably going to be the focus still. But outside of that, you know, there's certain systems we already go to that we've got a list of that we work between uh, for various reasons, some for power play, some for just pure piracy. And Maharaja will now be one of those piracy systems because it is so good for piracy. So, you know, um, it's well worth doing. What can I say? It's really worth doing. Now, I did feel slightly sorry for these guys, um, you know, uh, they decided on the tactic of bringing bigger ships. They thought it would be the smart idea to bring three corvettes into the fight. Um, unfortunately, against this wing, that was not a good idea. At uh, this stage, Frodo had got in his corvette. Um, we've now, if you look at the names at the top, uh, we've now got even more increased firepower from TOC. And this gets very brutal very fast. This is four corvettes versus me frodo uh, pugnut and dan and at this point this, i'm in my beam to lance so i'm just shredding through shields but the other ships i'm in wing with are just brutality um you know i'm probably the weakest out of this wing uh when it comes to combat so um yeah i did kind of feel sorry for these corvette guys they made some miscalculations uh, one of those miscalculations was I got, I got targeted quite a lot. Uh, there was one guy trying to chase me down and um, shoot at me. And it was like, those ships in here with bi-weave shields you should probably be going after rather than me. But hey, if you want to shoot the person that's probably got the strongest shields here, well, outside of the Corvette, I mean, they really they're not, not going to do anything to Frodo's Corvette. Uh, these were people that were using not fully engineered ships. And the difference is hugely telling. Uh, they thought it would be a smart idea to get in their Corvettes, which unfortunately isn't a smart idea. The smart idea is do your engineering before you take on people who PvP on a regular basis. Uh, you know, you need to make sure you've got your engineering down and done. Because if you haven't, when you jump into that fight, especially if you try and jump into that fight in half-done Corvettes, you are going to get shredded and it's going to cost you a lot of money. Um, you can see that I had one of the corvettes was coming after me and targeting me, and I'm still saying, you know, not putting many pips into systems, still saying staying relatively glass cannony, because I don't really have to worry. He wasn't outputting that much damage, and um, you know, the shields I have got on this are reasonably strong. Um, but like I say, it was pretty apparent these ships were out of their depth and very quickly it turned into a bit of an execution as uh yeah as three corvettes got killed by three mediums and one large so i mean had they been fully engineered it would probably have been a reasonable uh fight but i don't think these guys had fully engineered ships or if they did have fully engineered ships there's some problems with the builds but you know these weren't the strongest corvettes they've ever faced um and they weren't the weakest I've ever seen. I, I mean, I fought against block corvettes, so you know, I've seen, I've seen paper thin uh, corvettes. But these are the sort of people. I, I would guess these are the sort of people that would do a lot of PVE, not a lot of PVP. I could be wrong, but that's just the, from what was happening to them and how many times they kept going back to fight. Um, you know, I would say get get your engineering done, get your engineering fully done, and lock all your engineers. Um, and then start practicing and have fun fun fights, fun pews with people you know, um, you know, and just build up that confidence, get used to your ship in actual PvP combat. Uh, you know, dealing with when you're focused in PvP, even in a Corvette, can be quite daunting when you're new to PvP and how much damage some of these ships can do. Um, especially when you've got 
builds like pug nuts and annoying like beam laser builds like mine um you know they did a reason i mean i got my shields nearly got taken down there was a lot of uh ships attacking me at one point but as you can see as soon as one corvette comes down we're just moving to the next one and just shredding that one uh and it got yeah it was, it was fairly brutal i don't think the thermal resistance was the strongest on these ships and uh some of my colleagues are using very damaging stuff on them so uh yeah it was a good fun it was a fun fight i mean anytime three corvettes turn up and you get to have a fight with them is a fun evening entertainment it was all ggs afterwards uh no malice or anything like that it was fun it was quite hilarious later when i got messages from our tv asking what we were doing there as the dark marauders and it was like mm, it was pretty much just me it was polo come down for a bit but it was pretty much just me so it's not really a dark marauder thing this was just you know me robbing some people and then killing some people and having a good fun evening's entertainment anyway that's all thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this bit of pvp combat Alliance high population war zones and that was fucking